Oh fuck, what's happening to me? There we go. I just looked really scary. <laughs> Do you think <laughs> pup hollow in the flesh? Pup pup hollow. It's like I'm already a pup, so it's like pup 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 pup. <laughs> <laughs> like it's not a hollow pup, it's just pup twice. Pup pup. <laughs> I'm pup. I'm <laughs> I'm pup pup. Pup pup. <laughs> My pup name is Pup. <laughs> Wait, why is it so small? Well, how did it get so small? Who did this? Pup Pup saves the zoo. Is that a reference to Putt Putt? Oh yeah, I turned I turned that off. And I forgot to turn it back on. Oops. <clears throat> Al, you're the best mod. You tell me when I'm doing everything wrong. Hi, Al. Hi, Devin. Yeah. Not the cunty cemetery. No, I'm a good boy. I'm not a bad streamer puppy. I'm a good streamer puppy. Ow. I need to get a better chair. I feel like my chair is the squeakiest chair ever. Ow. Ow. You want me to howl? Ow. Gosh, I should I put on the puppy hood for a second and you're already whipping out the puppy rewards. I need to put more doggy dog rewards. I need to put more tricks. Because I know a lot of tricks. Oof. Oh, shoot. I wasn't paying attention. We're warming up. <laughs> Heal that arrow. I couldn't tell where the enemy was. I won't lose to the likes of you. Does this portion just not have any music? It's just like an ambient thing, I guess. <laughs> Let's see how good you really are. 
think I turned on the mic just to cough by accident. <laughs> That's funny. Sorry if you heard me do it just a fat cough right into the mic. Dude, this dark damage is not it. I think Viola might be weak to dark damage. I think Falsetto is my favorite character because all of her battle lines are just like nonsense. Transforming strength into weakness, weakness will surely become strength. Uh, or uh, no, she said, uh, transforming strength into weakness, weakness will surely become strength. Flower rage. Like what is, what is flower rage? Also, why is it tacked on? Some of Falsetto's like later lines, because I think the character's lines change later in the story. Um, some of her later lines are so nonsensical and wonderful. Oh, here's the blue flame. Like lightning and thunder, you will be thrown. Like wind, you will scatter. Heaven and earth. Oh my god, I love that line. I was trying to remember that one. Hi, Dolby Wolf. Oh my god, are you an Eternal Sonata fan? Coming out with a deep cut falsetto battle line. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. I'm, I'm trying to do this dungeon fast because I find it really confusing. Oh, that's, that's for Falsetto, who needs a lot of healing right I mean, Viola needs a lot of healing right now. Okay. You very much enjoyed this game? Yeah, this game's really great. It looks greater damage to light creatures. Let's try it. I think this is a dark creature, but... I think the, the lamps count as light creatures, so maybe Falsetto can punch them really hard now. She was just, she was paralyzed. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. You need to move. Maledictor. He loves to maledict. He maledicts all day, and he loves it. Oh, I didn't even see that one. Get him, falsetto. Yeah, she does get a damage boost on these now. One thing I really like about Eternal Sonata's like game design is that instead of like whenever I need to heal myself, I just fight stuff. I like I just get into a fight. Uh if I'm if all my party members are really low on health, like starting a fight with an enemy is a really good way to just heal yourself because there's no MP in this game. So literally just by comboing you can like get all of your health back up. Which makes the exploration pretty smooth, I feel. Like I feel like I never really have to leave a dungeon to go get items. They're just kind of convenient to have for bosses and for certain encounters, but like on a regular basis, you don't really use items like in fights. Damn, be careful. Unless it's like a revival item that I really need or something. I need to save this combo for Viola. She needs to heal us all. Come on. Come on. Come on. Fine. <laughs> Just the, the, I'll take it. <laughs> I wish the positioning was a little better in this game. It can be kind of janky. <clears throat> it feels like you can't really get yourself into the right position. Maybe 30% of the time, but... I think it's just because this game secretly kind of has like eight directional movement. As tough as they come. <laughs> like you can move in all directions, but it, um, I don't know. The way the character controls is like very like rigid, especially like in battle. There's no running or walking mechanic. So like it can be really hard to get yourself into like where you want to be. That's my one big gripe. Skelly! Bark, 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 bark! Arf, 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 Oh, cool. Ha 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 hee ha ha! Oh, heck yeah. That's what I need. I feel like I need to, like, start adding other characters to my stream. I feel like everything is all about Hollow. Like, it's all about me, I'm the star, I'm the star of the, of Hollow's gaming channel, but, like, I need to add some other faces. Especially for alerts and things, it'd be cute to see other characters. It's all about me, it's all about me. But I want to share, I want to share me with other people. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what I'm trying to say.
Oh, that, that was so nasty. I love Yolo's playstyle. Shooting behind the enemy's back to just one shot the other enemy. That's satisfying. What if you heard the Eternal Sonata chance sound effect in real life? Bugged viola mechanics? Is that a bug? Is viola's like massive damage some sort of bug? That would be news to me. Oh my god, dadbait chibis would be such a good idea. Especially since I really developed a script lately, like I know that you're that okay, the next time I make a game, I'm gonna write the script first. Because it was the last thing I did when making Dad Bait. But now that the script is being written, a lot of the characters feel more fleshed out. And I actually feel like I want to draw, like, more of them. I should really, like, make some little chibis. Chibis. I shouldn't even say I wrote the script for Dad Bait last. It was more like I wrote, like, really informal, like... Basically, I storyboarded each scene like it was going to be an animation, because that's the only thing I knew how to do. <laughs> and then, um, with little blurbs, but I never really wrote, like, full sentences. Um. And for, like, every scene in the game, it just had, like, a big, like, outline that was, like, full of pictures and little blurbs, but... <laughs> only rec only, like, this... Only, like, in the last, like, year, I think. I was working on the game for, like, two years. I think in the last, like, year, I started writing the actual script with Devin. <laughs> I'm gonna pound you fair and square. I'm gonna pound you fair and square. Strike that willow mama. I long lost. Whenever it says like first time chatter, I get I'm always just like hi. <laughs> Take that. Take that. that was sloppy. I should have maybe waited longer. At least the enemy. I know Allegretto, like, you need to chill out with your, what are you, like, 13 and full of anger. Allegretto is 13 and full of anger. He doesn't deserve cool battle lines. He should be like, I hate you. He should have, like, really uncool battle lines. Oh. I need another, I need another blue flame. Hmm. Well, are you ready or what? Let's get started. Tuba should have had the line about pounding. <laughs> he should have said that right after he smacked beat. It's like, ugh! And then he should have been like, alright, where are the men at? Tuba should have smacked beat and been like, I love men. Falsetto has the most iconic lines. I just have no idea what she's saying.
Get him! Oh hell yeah. That was perfect. Is there something different with my avatar? Yeah, as you can see I got a new accessory. I also added a new like outfit. Um I wanted to I made this little sweater. The little yellow sweater I'm wearing. Cause I wanted it's a little bit cold and I wanted puppy to be warm. It, like, you can't really see it, but on the sweater it says uh it says bark heart. <laughs> Is she sneepered? Is she sneepered? What is what, wait, Bingus, what are you saying? I can't read that word. Double puppy. Yeah, I'm double pupping it up. Is she snow leopard? Oh, I get it now. I have no idea what Falsetto was referring to with that line, but it's one of my favorite ones by her. Something, something, I'm as calm as the snow is on, on, on the tip of the mountain. A single touch. Like, girl, what? Oh, I don't think that the voice lines and the skills are actually related, because, like, Poco will just say, like, everything for every skill. Okay, so I need this. Wait, where'd the blue flame go? This, <laughs> this dungeon's confusing, because you can never really remember where each flame is. I thought I had two red flames also. What are all the eternal Sonata characters for Sonas? The purple flame. Oh wait, okay, I don't, uh, this is where the other red flame went. Okay, that's fine. Oh shit, so many enemies. So many anemones. Mm. Ah! This isn't good. Oh, the Gretel seems to be facing the right way. I'm like, yeah, go way over there so I can shoot you in the face. Uh-oh. Yeah, Allegretto would be like an eagle or something. I think Beat would be like a squirrel. My, in my personal opinion, Beat would be a Beat is a squirrel. Oh, you know what I read today? I read the Eternal Sonata manga. It was really not good, but I loved the art. I don't recommend reading the Eternal Sonata manga before we view the ending of this game, though, because it has spoilers. But I will tell you that the Eternal Sonata manga is very, uh, very strange. It's also, there's so much blood in it. <laughs> Viola is not in the manga, no. That's why it's not good. The, the manga really doesn't have, like, any of the extra characters. Like, it only really has, like, the main, main ones. Like, like, Polka, Viola, I mean, Polka, um... Frederick, Allegretto, and Beat. And it kind of left out anyone with the side plots. It left out, like, Clavis and all them. 
Yeah, it's just like focusing on like the main, main, main characters. <clears throat> That's a bug. I always thought that was like a feature. I always thought it was a feature because it's harder to shoot enemies from farther away. Even if it doesn't really make sense, like on a physics, if you think about the physics of how arrows work, <laughs> like there's no reason for arrows to cause damage from being farther away. But I always, I always viewed it as intentional. That's kind of funny. Because I always put Viola like really far away, and and I think coupled with Viola's like infinite healing skill, heal arrow, like infinite range, it just kind of makes. Viola like the best if she's really far away, which I always thought was her strength. So even if it's a bug, if it's a bug, I'm like, thank you for adding that. It's amazing. Viola would be would be a goat because she takes care of goats. Yeah, that one's obvious. So how about we go around? <laughs> Salsa and March are just Plusle and Minin. I'm so <laughs> Poco's a flamingo. Poco's a flamingo or like a, like a, I don't know, a chicken. I feel like Poco would be a chicken. She just has like chicken vibes. She has chicken girl vibes. Also, there's not enough like chicken personas. We need to start like adding those. There need to be more characters that look like Chicken Little's dad. Time for Viola's glitch move. <laughs> 11,000. It seems kind of cool though. Like I I find it really cool that her damage is dependent on your accurate accuracy basically. Oh. I like that these enemies start coughing because they use too much mineral powder and it causes them to waste their turn. Or I think th this is what happens to people when they use too much min mineral powder, basically, is what it's explained. Like, they turn into this. Because Maledictors can use magic and they can float and stuff, but it's also because uh, they're sick and dying from the mineral powder. I could see Falsetto as a snow leopard. That'd be really cute. She does have a lot of like snow theme to her, I guess you would say. 29,000. You know what? Actually, like the first time I played this game, I did not use Hawkeye because I didn't really know what it did. And now that I know what Hawkeye does, I'm like, oh, I'm going to use it in every freaking fight. It is a really good skill. I think maybe this is where I have to go next. I'm really not sure. <laughs> they got me. I'm not going to show any mercy. I can't wait till I get to the new uh, party members, because there's party members in the PS3 version that are not in the Xbox 360 version. It's like a brand new game. Even though I played this game before, it's feeling like I didn't. 
Because there's so much new cutscenes and new content. We do need more fat main characters in general. <clears throat> we need more fat main characters, I say, as I make a game with a main character who's a twink. I'm, I'm part of the problem, you guys. That's true. I mean, all the dads, the four main dads in Dad Bait are also the main characters, and they're pretty fat. Simply develop the sequel. Oh, you're right. I already have some ideas, but I don't like to think about any other games right now while I'm in the Dad Bait trenches. Although sometimes I do daydream about what the next game I would make would be, especially because Dad Bait's so far along. Hashtag problematic puff. No! This this can't go viral. Get him, Viola. <laughs> You're a mess. I don't think this is the right way. I'm gonna go back. I'm also gonna get some water. But yeah, we need more fat main characters. I'm trying I'm struggling to think of like any good video games that have like a fat main character right now. <laughs> Yay. Bob from Tekken? Oh, he is pretty chubby. He is a big fatty. I, lo I love Bob. I only know of him because I did him for a commission one time. Wait, I'm supposed to have like two blue flames, right? What happened to my other blue flame? Yeah, I used it. I got it back. Gold Lewis, Guilty Gear. Yeah, those are... I mean, there's plenty of fat characters, like, in games that are really sexy and beautiful, and I want them to belly shelf me, but I'm still looking for, like, a main character who's fat, and I can't think of one. Isn't that sad? I guess Mario. Mario's kind of chubby. 
Do we count Mario? Is Mario a fat boy win? Is he a win for fat boys? He's a win for fat Italian boys. Wario! Oh my god, you're right. Wario is the main character of a lot of different games, and he is pretty fat. This isn't good. This uh -oh. really isn't good. Well, thank you for backing into a position that lets me still get uh, guard opportunities. Like die right here, so I'm just gonna use that item. Damn, that wasn't enough. Hunt. Wario bottoms and he's one of my 10 boyfriends and I love him. You're so lucky to have Wario as one of your 10 boyfriends. You know, he, he just doesn't have the time for me. Better back off. Wario's covered in bitches. He doesn't have time for me. Academy where guys learn how to go to be a good pup. I would go there. I would go to school if this was the food, this was the uniform, and it's just like a collar. <laughs> Is this right? Two red candles? Is that. Wait, huh? I don't have any green flame. Gotta love how enemy moves in some RPGs are just random ass words. I agree. Like the ones in Eternal Sonata are especially random. Like I can't tell what the severity of the attack's gonna be at all. In Eternal Sonata, the attack will be like giggle, and then the enemy will like end two out of three of your party members. Like, I feel like in other RPGs, it's like, fire blast, volca volcano eruption, and then this game, the enemies are like, whisper. I wish I could do snow claw in real life. Hmm, I'd be like, what'd you say to me? And then I would do that like 19 hit combo. Ida and Pup Gear is one of the pups that teach you to put all instructions. <laughs> we can't get too uh, descriptive in the Twitch chat. Just want to throw that out there. But I think that's a great idea. We can get really descriptive if I'm doing a Picardo stream. And you're kind of giving me ideas for Haida art now. 
I think Kaido would be the best pup. I mean, I'm literally wearing the pup mask, so I brought the pup hood topic up. So, this is all my fault. But. <laughs> Gosh, now you got me thinking about Pup Hood, Haida. Leaves in a puff of smoke. I wish I could throw like that little pellet down on the floor and like it would turn into a big puff of smoke. Like in the movies. Or like in anime. You know what I'm talking about? Like when villain characters are like or when goofy villain characters are like, I must go now. And they throw like a pill on the ground and it explodes. Into smoke that lets them escape. Like why can't I do that? Oh my god, there's another gateway over here. I didn't even know that. This is really pretty. I like these flowers. Oops. Okay, so there is another entrance right here. I, th I throw the smoke pellet on the ground, but then when it clears, I'm just like in full gear and with a pup mask. Like that's that's the trick. Heroes will never suspect it. Oh, <laughs> I ran into an enemy I couldn't see. You better back off. You're gonna get up into your, out of your chair and into bed. Um, slay. Nice. Phantom wave. Oh, there's no enemy over there. <laughs> Have you read manga based on games? Have you read mangas based on games other than Eternal Sonata? I actually haven't. Eternal Sonata is probably the only one I read. I can't think of any other games that have a manga that I've played. Eternal Sonata does have a novel, though. And my friend has recently translated it. I've yet to get around to reading it. I also don't know if she posted it publicly, so I have to go ask. <laughs> yeah, mangas based on games can be really weird. Like, I feel like... The Eternal Sonata manga is high-key boring. <laughs> Cause, um... They just cut out all, like, the fighting, and, like... They make a lot of the characters just a lot weaker. That being said, if there was a Bayonetta manga, I bet it would go off. You like the Kingdom Hearts manga? It's more humorous. I like the Kingdom Hearts manga style a lot. Um, I don't know why I think of the style for that one a lot. Probably because I read it like in middle school, but it stood out to me. Wait, I need a blue flame for this? Oh, there's a green flame. Finally. Needed that. Oh, this is the other side of that one place. I mean, this is the other side of the entrance area. And I guess this might be... The next zone, okay. I have seen the Bayonetta movie. It's fantastic. They did such a good job. Like, I was actually floored. I went into that movie with certain expectations. And... The band in a movie blew me away. I think what I loved about the Bayonetta movie is that there were original fights, like, back to back to back. Like, they were not just 
condensed versions of fights from the from the game. Like they made up new encounters, like the John. Like there's a fight with John where they're fighting on top of a train, and uh, it's really interesting and cool. And I feel like they they focus more on like John as a character in general in the movie. Oh wait, why did I do that? It's too late. Well Chew on that. The Bandit in the movie is also really good because um I'm pretty sure it's it's a uh... Oh, I don't know what I was I don't know what I was going to say actually. I was just gonna say I liked the uh, the voice acting in it a lot too. I I don't know if it's the original Bayonetta, but I think the voice acting was incredible. I wish the VA didn't turn out the way she did. Yeah, I wish she didn't. But honestly, I can't tell the difference that much. I think they give. Cerezo less cool things to do in Bayonetta 3, but I mean her voice still sounds great <laughs> The new voice actress did a great job <clears throat> Bayonetta 3 was cursed from the from the get-go I think Good thing we still have Bayonetta 1, the best Bayonetta game. <clears throat> I also just feel like Bayonetta as a series just isn't really like that big. Like I know it's really popular, but I don't think it's as popular or as large or has like as much of a player base as something like Legend of Zelda, for example. You know, it's like not in that pantheon. It's like, oh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Did I save? But I, I feel like Bayonetta is just like, it's not that ginormous. It's still like really iconic. So it's still kind of weird to me that Helena Taylor wanted, like, so much money and, like, kind of treated herself like she was so immensely famous. Because I never, I, I, when that was happening, I was like, this feels like a problem for a game that's, like, more popular than Bayonetta. It took too long to make the comeback. Yeah, and then when it made the comeback, it just wasn't a very strong comeback. Yeah, I have no idea what that what that person said, but <laughs> I didn't really read like too much into the situation because I just wanted to enjoy Bayonetta 3. <laughs> and then afterwards I was like, well, I didn't enjoy Bayonetta 3. <laughs> Was it pulsing? She loves pulsing. She loves to pulse. Oh, I knocked it down. Whoa, it can hit like behind me. I mean, it can it can smack things behind it itself. Oh, that camera angle was so cool. Bullseye. 
<clears throat> Shit. Girl, your back appendage is doing some crazy movement. Damn, she got that back appendage. She got that appendage. Need me a girl with an appendage. That attack is nuts. Okay. Paralysis is not fun. I should have brought some paralysis, paralysis items. Why am I fighting like dark evil Lugia or whatever the fuck? Looks like a Pokemon. It's so hard to tell where you can hit this enemy. Oh, what the fuck? You can't do that. Dark Lugia from Poke Dark Lugia from Pokemon DX. I don't I haven't played Pokemon DX or any other Pokemon game. Oops. We're charging up a big attack right now. Falsetto's gonna use this this high combo and also Hawkeye to pull off something nuts. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> The boss just got really scared. <laughs> We're like, oh shit. Don't do don't do your falsetto uh build up super attack on me. <sighs> Looks like we won. Yeah, Solagretto. You know, we did kind of just barge in here all of a sudden. 
Now that I think about it, it may just have been protecting the graveyard against intruders. <laughs> Guys, are we like bad? Well, I'd feel kind of bad about that then. Don't worry. The Spring Guardian is a spirit, so even if it's gone temporarily, it'll go back to normal soon. Come on, let's get the simile water and start heading back. Like how they make they make up new concepts in this game by just being like like music noun and then other noun. <laughs> what is it, Jazz? It seems like simile water on your mind. Up, Jazz. Claves, what do you think of falsetto? <laughs> huh? What do you mean? We have an information leak on our hands. There's a spy within our ranks, and I think that it may very well be falsetto. <gasps> what? You don't think she's been acting strange lately? She's being oddly combative. Especially toward you. Think about it. She never used to be like that. <laughs> well, it could be. That falsetto is just jealous. I think falsetto just is kind of gay and she likes me. I sincerely hope that's all it is. That's what Chloe said. Even so, there is definitely something she's hiding from me. Oh my god, you guys. Falsetto I've might be a spy a and a lesbian. So we tell almost everything about each other. Everything. Can't spell falsetto without false. Can't spell friends without end. Hold on. If there's a spy among us, wouldn't the guards have been watching the dungeon? Remember, our plan was to infiltrate the dungeon directly through the secret passage. Yes, that is true. It must have been a coincidence. I can't believe Falsetto is a spy. Yes, you're right. Thanks, Claves. That's a relief. I was just about to lose my faith in falsetto. <laughs> That's all it took? Okay. That's good. It sure is taking them a long time. But there is a spy. Go Who is it? Dante and get them? Yes, that's a good idea. How does she know it's wrong, huh? How can Claves be so sure? <laughs> Evil. It's nothing. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot about this. <laughs> You fool. The information you provided us was very valuable. But I was ordered to kill you if your identity was revealed. Don't take it personally. I know you. You're Rondo. Falsetto has suspected you for some time now. I suppose sooner oh, or later, no. they were bound to find out. You had the perfect opportunity to frame her as a spy, and you let it slip away. That failure cannot go unpunished. Does Rondo have a nose piercing? I don't know. I I couldn't see. I didn't I didn't I didn't check. I already knew that falsetto suspected it was me. Ugh, Claves, why do you always need things repeated? I mean, she could. That'd be kind of cunt. Well, they do taste good in soup. I don't know about that. I seriously doubt he'll be attacking Andantino anytime soon. <laughs> She's just dreaming about her GF. It's nice to have things shaken up every on her on her while. death throes. It's okay with you, isn't it, Claves?
a lifetime to build, but it only takes a moment. To <laughs> As she dies, she realizes how gay she actually was for falsetto. It's so tragic. Everything we do has some effect on the environment. And ultimately, that ends up affecting human society as well. Eternal Sonata spoilers. <laughs> Waltz really made a mistake when he chose me for this mission. Because I went and fell in love with the target. <gasps> I guess I'm a failure as a spy. She literally fell in love with Falsetto. Oh my gosh. But more than that, I'm an idiot too. Why did I... Why did I say those things to him? Well, it could be that Falsetto is just jealous of us. I sincerely hope that's all it is. <laughs> oh, wait, actually gay, let's Even go. So, there is definitely something she's hiding from me. I've known her since childhood, so we can tell almost everything about each other. Everything. Everything. When he was saying that he and Falsetto knew everything about each other, I felt so... The truth is, I guess I'm the one who was jealous of them. <laughs> Kave Snow, you've only been on screen for like two hours. As a woman, I just didn't want to lose to Falsetto. I wanted to fight for him fairly and have him choose me. Oh no, it's not gay. Boo. What a joke. No, let's it's pretend it's gay. She didn't say that. It's all it's about Falsetto. Anyone would expect from someone as deceitful as me. She's not thinking about jazz That's as she dies. After all that I've done. She's thinking about Falsetto. She's literally Hold only on. talking about if Falsetto. If spy among us, wouldn't the guards have been watching the dungeon? Remember, our plan was to infiltrate the dungeon directly through the secret passage. I know, she's like... I even she's like, I guess I'll just die. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't take advantage of my chance to frame Falsetto. She can talk a lot for someone who's bleeding out. <laughs> Maybe Rondo was right. Maybe she's fine. <laughs> if I had just made her out to be the spy, my job and my love life would have been easy. But it's strange. I don't regret it at all. <laughs> Flashing back to things we just saw. We were on equal footing. That was her whole life. <laughs> Yes, that is true. This is hilarious. They're really just showing a cutscene that it just happened. Coincidence. Like this this was the cutscene just before this last cutscene, and they're flashing back to it. <laughs> yes, you're right. Thanks, Claves. That's a relief. I was just about to lose my Welcome. falsetto. Welcome back from work. I'm playing Eternal Sonata, and we're witnessing the most tragic death. <laughs> Most tragic, long-winded death. I guess I lose both in work and in love. I wish, I wish I had grown up with Jazz. Then, just maybe I would have led a life better than the one I did. <laughs> what did you even do? <laughs> she doesn't seem to like have really ratted anyone out. Like, honestly, she's, she's pretty self-sacrificial. <laughs> I don't know why she's like, I wish I had be my final been a different person. To both of them. Now I guess maybe because she's Fly. she got into some like weird business but that she got assassinated, but... This, just, this whole scene is so garbled. It's Baroque. She got murdered, like, just before... The scene she got stabbed by a, an assassin character that we just met named Rondo. <laughs> and now she's dying. <laughs> it's done. I had to do at least one good deed. Nope, in the end. she's still talking. Or else, 
This, she's been dying for like 30 minutes. Like she could have done something about this. I wonder if they'll ever figure out who the spy was. <laughs> this is the best scene in Eternal Sonata. Yes, I'm sure Falsetta will tell them. Were my feelings real? Or was it all just some kind of illusion? <laughs> the assassin is going to come back. <laughs> that assassin didn't do a good job. She's saved. like not dead. <laughs> but at least, at She's fine. I want to be the real me. She's exaggerating. <laughs> I I truly loved you. Oh my god, the unreleased Chopin. New Chopin just leaked, oh my god. Chopin's gonna post like a picture of like of just like his baton and then it's gonna like be a date. And ever ever all the but all the Chopin stands are gonna go crazy on Twitter. This is like the old timey equivalent of Pissy Pamper Kid Cuddy by Playboy Cardi. A Pissy Pamper Kid Cuddy by Playboy Cardi. <laughs> yeah! I, I see that. <laughs> that makes total sense, bestie. This, none of these like history lessons are as good as the first one where they were like, None of, none of these history lessons have been as good as the first one where we learned about Chopin's trans man uh, boyfriend that he was with until he died. Like, that's so romantic. In any case, the world should be grateful for, for Fontana's decision. If he had not published that score... Anthony Fontana! Wait, no way! 
Could it be? What if that's... What if that's why he's... He, uh, could Anthony Fantano's name have been a moniker this whole time? <laughs> the melon is immortal. Can't believe Anthony Fantano is an eternal sonata. He's going to show up and be like, polka, you know, like floral powder, you know, it really hit last year. But, you know, this year, floral powder, you know, I feel like it's just more of the same on this project. And I just wish polka came out with a better record. That's what he's going to say. Flower. Grand Vas Briand. Grand Va Briand. I, I don't really know how to pronounce that middle word, actually. Grand Va Briand. Where the fuck is this? B. It's B. You're alive. Oh, Polka. There you are. I've been looking all over the place for you, you know. Oh, hi, Beat. I'm sorry about that. Hey, are you thinking about Rattle and the others? You don't have to worry about them. I'm sure they're all okay. Besides, <laughs> what well, I thought Beat had bionic legs at first. Just falling off a bridge. He, he doesn't, but like, they're so you small. A point there. I'm sure you're right. Thank you, Beat. And they have like so much like Still, metal we were pretty around them. There, don't you they kind of look like little robot legs to me. If we hadn't been picked up by that Baroque ship, I don't know what would have happened. <laughs> Thank you so much for helping us like this. Don't mention it. It was nothing. <laughs> Who's this? Is there oh, any that's I remember that guy. You did save our lives. Yeah, you've already done so much for us. Is there anything we can do to help out? <laughs> this little squirt here can wash dishes for you or something. Drag her. Hey, no. You can't start calling me Little Squirt just because my hat washed away. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is this story? Like That's a good question. Good spirits, but I'm afraid there's nothing you could help with. Really, you should probably all just get some rest. Own that fraud. And allow me to introduce myself. I think Eternal Sonata is the current thing that we're all doing right now is we're trying to get to... We're trying to get to Forte Castle so we can huh? talk to Cres Count Waltz. Crescendo? But when we got to Forte Gee, Castle, we all got arrested. Kind of a tough name to say. So Could then when we escaped the dungeon, easier to say? we got, all got thrown into a river after our battle with Please, Tuba. And so now the whole party's separated. Besides, I thought you said you were good at remembering people's so we names. got kicked out of the castle and put in the dungeon, and then we got separated. I must say, you're very young to be the captain of a ship. It's a lot to take in, because there's a lot of yeah, shit going on right now. <laughs> hey, hold on now. This guy doesn't even have a hook or an eye patch. I'm always playing there's game no stoned, and nothing makes cap. sense. I mean, a lot of stuff makes sense to me, but, like, the game of Eternal... the this I feel like this middle portion of Eternal Sonata gets sorry, so, Captain. like, I muddled. Like, I just... Goodness. There's so hey. much, like... Maybe I'll just There's so many different places and environments that they introduce. I could remember Clave's name, just no died. Problem, <laughs> so like, <laughs> lots, a lot is happening. <laughs> Feel free to call me whatever you'd like, really. Well, Captain. Christian, also, thank you, thank Dobie you Wolf and Long Lost, 
I think for the followers. Thank you so much. Sleepy. I wonder if Allegretto and the others are all right. I think I'll go outside. Maybe some fresh air will cheer me up. Love playing as Polka. Anytime I get to play as Polka, I'm like so happy. Hi. A lady like myself can't eat a cake that size. You're not going to eat it, March? Well, I guess I'll have to force myself. Cake is soft and warm. Fish are dancing. I can see something red. Something's simmering. Huh, it's fried fish. Uh, get, it, get it away from me. Ah. Uh, ugh. Only a dream. It has to be a dream. This is such a long dialogue tree. That was such a long and hilarious dialogue tree. Okay, what even is this on the table? I wish I could. I wish I could tell what that is. <laughs> Christmas tree. Christmas! I like that in like JRPGs, whenever they need to put like a snow area, it's like Christmas themed. It's like Nino Kuni also, there's like Christmas trees in that game too. I wish I could look like Polka in real life all the time. She's so cute. Whoa. What's that guy? The, the creature in this is a character we're going to meet later. These are snow globes. One of my room has water in it. <laughs> it's like a water snow globe. Everyone's so nice. Everyone on the ship is so pleasant. Mm. Just a plain globe in this in the cheap seats. Yeah, they couldn't afford to put snow in my globe. Just plain old water. Baroque ship. What's up, Ty? Yeah, Ty, what is that? Whoa, I went back downstairs. This looks like a different area. God, the enemy, I mean, the enemies, the, the, the NPCs on this boat have drip. They are decked out in like the cutest sailor drip I've seen in the, in a while, like the pants. I'm just talking to him to like get a look at his outfit. Yeah, like the fit is right. You're fighting the urge to spend money. Food. It's B. Hi, B. Wow, I've never been able to just interact with you like this in the field. <laughs> Where's this ship from anyway?
I just did a bunch of shopping too, but it was an Eternal Sonata. Viewer siphoned off by big online shopping. I know. They're taking my viewership. They hate small businesses like this, like puppies. Uh, locals. Uh, ugh. They hate local puppies businesses. Increases movement speed in battle. Shining body. Oh, so this one has like a drawback. Like, even though it's really good, it causes shining body. Uh, hmm. You're getting the proper Devin Manny simulation. Honestly, yeah. We do a lot of online shopping. I don't do a lot of online buying per se. Like, I'll buy stuff, like, in bursts. But, I mean, every other week, like, when I have nothing to do, I'm on Essence, just, like, looking at whatever the fuck. I love going on Essence and just scrolling and filling my cart. Like, my cart has, like, 80 things in it. I'm not gonna buy all 80 things. I just... I just love having... I just love looking, and I love picking things out every now and again. Essence is so good. You know what else is really good? I mean, not for clothes but aliexpress is really good because you can fill your card up you can fill like up to 99 things but you can buy things individually so i mean my cart's always full <laughs> and like sometimes i'll just buy like one or two things and it, i don't really buy stuff on aliexpress because it takes too long to get here but i've bought some cool stuff on there like most of my keyboard parts Essence is really good because, uh, I mean, I need to buy brain dead stuff to live. I wish Essence had pleasures stuff because I like to buy pleasures clothes also. Uh, Essence had a big ass sale on Vivian Westwood. I mean, they had a sale like on everything, but there was a lot of like really cute Vivian West Westwood stuff I wanted to get and I didn't get it. Um, and I think that's probably good, but damn, they have some really cool stuff from Vivian Westwood on Essence. Oh, that should be Essence, right? Will this steady melody that beats upon the ship guide me to the kingdom of darkness? The waves ripple gently in the flowing wind. This dude's going through it. 
He wants to jump in the water. He wants to, like, swim in darkness or whatever the fuck he was talking about. I, I didn't know these were doors. Look at all the different colors. How fun. Pogo's flavor text is really cute. She's always just like, wow. <laughs> You just bought a tea kettle from... We just bought a tea kettle from Essence and it is really adorable. They had so many colors too. We, we went with the black with like some really pretty wood uh, handle. And I've been using it to save money by making tea at home. Hi Daz Shadow, how's it going? Playing Eternal Sonata. It's full of liquor, I feel dizzy just smelling it. <gasps> Oh, cool. I got some hell mustard. Poco found poppers. Poco found the pirate poppers on the Baroque ship. <clears throat> oh, I guess that's not a door that I can open. Tip, keep your cheek full of tea. You can have sips throughout the day. Oh, you're so smart. I'm just gonna fill my mouth with tea. So the world is all just Frederick's dream. Good evening, Frederick. I see you haven't woken up from your dream yet. <laughs> Get his ass. Make fun oh, of him. Hello, Polka. Are you having trouble sleeping? Yes. I'm still worried about the others. Polka, there was something I said to you before. About the way everything in the world slowly fades away, gradually losing its color. Since I've come to this place, I've begun to feel as if that is somehow being reversed. Hmm? What do you mean? Well, compared to when I first came to this world, now when I look around, I feel as if everything in the world is becoming more vivid, more clear. Could this be the proof I sought? Is this world... Which must be a dream, somehow becoming more real. It's getting real at the gig. Or does it only the competition is heating up. Poco's Drag Race. The world me. Frederick's Drag Race. Oh. For example, I find myself wondering about whether the others are all right. Not long ago, I wouldn't have cared what happened to them. Why should I when none of this is actually happening? <laughs> um. But now, I'm genuinely concerned. Frederick, that's concerning. <laughs> I don't know why, but I feel a strong sense of solidarity. A connection with the people of this world. Well, I think that's a perfectly normal way for you to feel. After all, it's only natural to worry about people you've spent time with and grown to care about. They have the tea to work at, Mama. No, before I had this illness, everything around me seemed so dull and ordinary. But since I found out my life would soon be over, even little things seemed to shine with an inner light. Like the sound of wood crackling in a fireplace. The smell of a campfire. Leaves slowly floating down a stream. The gentle sound of falling snow. Now that I think about it, I probably only feel that way because I am approaching death myself and have begun to fade more rapidly. Just as Amelia did. Amelia? 
My sister. She was only 14 when she was struck down by tuberculosis. The exact age you are now. Focus like, what's that? Oh, your sister was my age when she... I see. That's so sad. How terrifying it must have been for her. Forced to accept an inescapable fate. She must have had so many hopes and dreams. Why? Why does God allow such things to happen to good people? Taking away even her chance to live. So true, Diva. Poor Amelia. Yeah, God is canon in this game. It is sad. But, but it's, I think it's because that the, because the real world is canon in this game. Like, remember they showed us like real ass Chopin laying in that bed in real ass France. So. Besides, in a way, Amelia still lives on, doesn't she? I guess it makes sense that there's God ass Jesus ass God from the Bible. She lives on inside your heart, Frederick. And she lives in the wonderful music that your heart creates. She also lives on inside all the people of the world whose hearts are moved when they listen to your music. Amelia won't ever really die. She'll touch the hearts of every generation to come. Through her brother's melodies, she will live on forever. I think that's wonderful. Frederick, do you need any more proof that part of her still lives on than the thought of that? You know, Polka, whenever I'm with you, I feel like I'm talking to Amelia. It's almost as if Amelia is saying the very same things to me. You also remind me of her because you have a terminal illness. You've taught me something very important tonight. Very important indeed. Frederick, there's just something about you that draws others to you. And since I met you, my way of thinking has changed quite a bit. Although I didn't realize it before. <laughs> She's talking to him like after he left. On the past, she waited till he left future. to say these things. Because thinking about the future is just too painful. And you know you're going to die soon. This whole world existed inside your dream, right? At first, I thought you were teasing me by saying that this was your dream. But now, I actually think that it's a really beautiful idea. And now I realize that believing in you is really the same thing as believing in the future. That's especially important for someone like me, who uses magic. You help me be more positive about the future and what I need to do. I should really be thanking you, Frederick, because you've taught me something very important, too. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Abandoned ship, Polka.
Damn it. Of all the times for this to happen. Whoa. That's a big ship. Well, what is it? It's a pirate ship. They appear out of nowhere sometimes and attack vessels that travel up this river. The pirates sneak up from behind and ram their unsuspecting target. Uh, they do, do they? That's terrible. Maybe there's something we can do. We should repay them for helping us. I agree. But whatever we do, we have to move quickly or those people will try to board this ship. It's far too dangerous. These pirates, even their underlings, are very strong. Isn't this like the king's like ship? Like why isn't there like a big ass military presence on the ship? Beats like no me, a child, I will protect the king. What's all the fuss? Is something happening? Still really sleepy. I think that's a that's Prince Crescendo, and he's not a king, but you know. He's still royalty. Oh, she wants to have her pirate slay. Let her. She wants to her enter her swashbuckler era. I'm down first for we'll go over and keep them occupied. A pirate moment. I'll try to pull the ship away as far as you can to keep them from boarding. Yeah, right. I'll do everything I can. <laughs> Very good. If you'll excuse me. Frederick's just telling everyone what to do because <laughs> he thinks that like they're all figments of his imagination. It's funny. Good character trait. Also, just watched One Piece. I need to watch One Piece. Pirate stuff. That's a pirate. More pirate. That's those are two pirates. <laughs> pirate ship Dulce. Dolce. Whoa. Solar Flare Mama. It's also so cute. She's like, yeah, I killed them. Much nothing. Bring it on. Oh, they're so piratey. Just cleaned up a 
teeny tiny bit. I just ate. Gotta plug in my phone. I'm excited because this dungeon has like one of my favorite Eternal Sonata characters. Wait, did Boku just cough? Or I think she just sneezed. I never noticed that she sneezes. There's nowhere to go. This is like the very first dungeon I ever, this is the first bit of gameplay I ever saw of Eternal Sonata, which is like a short video of this, this dungeon and boss fight online, like on Tumblr or something. And I was like, whoa, what is this? And then I just went into a deep dive and then became obsessed with it. <laughs> it was the main reason I wanted to get an Xbox 360. Just to play this game. weird rock or something hey polka why are you carrying around this weird stone <laughs> to be honest with you i don't even remember how long i've had that stone according to my mother i was already carrying it around with me when i was just four years old she would tell me to throw it away, but I wouldn't listen to her. Apparently, I said it was a gift from someone I <laughs> love, and I would never throw it's it her away, favorite rock. no matter what. Huh? You had a boyfriend when you were four? Wow, you were really precocious, weren't you? I don't know why, but for some reason this stone feels very important to me, and I've never been able to throw it away. And you don't have to, girly. <laughs> Romantic. And not with the mushy stuff. Let's just get moving. They're all friends here. All cats are gay. Just felt the need to say that. All cats are pretty gay. I'll do my best. Damn, she like destroyed that guy. Has anyone been keeping up with Drag Race? Skelly, I thought that you spoiled Drag Race the other day. Foolish creatures. In the server, because I'm pretty sure it was. I think the other day in the server, Skelly, you said that, uh, Sasha Colby will always be a star. And when I saw that, I was like, what is Skelly referring to? Did Sasha Colby get eliminated? <laughs> but I didn't say anything because I, I didn't want to like, no. <laughs> 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 
And now looking back, it's kind of funny for me to make that conclusion from just that, but like... I think just like the phrasing made it, made it sound like she lost. <laughs> You're just expressing, you're expressing your love for Sasha Colby because you saw Runway you loved. Her last Runway was great, like the the spooky one, the nightmare one, or whatever it was. I don't think Drag Race could. I don't think that Drag Race could get by if they if they like they need to put Sasha Colby in the top five or top four. Because if they didn't, like, so many people would stop watching the show. <laughs> it would just be a sham at that point. better in this part Pirates look so gay. Oh wait, I need Beat's photo skill. Yeah. Oh, there's a chest back here. Yeah. <laughs> 
detail is just amazing! We're just taking advantage of this guy. Just using him for my own gain. Finish strong. Yeah, I got so many photos that fight. I can sell those for mad cash. But I also just kind of wanted to see what the pirates really look like. Playing this game on a, on a big screen is so exciting because I played it first on a CRT. The first time I played it. And it wasn't a good CRT. It was a CRT on its last leg. Pirates on this boat use floral powder. They're they're like woke. Yeah, these pirates literally support these pirates literally support polka. Like why are we fighting them? I'm reading too much into it. But the fact that they carry a floral extract and only certain like enemy types carry that Leads me to believe that, like, we're fighting some friends here and we should talk things out. Pirates are cute. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Pirates are kind of hot. I like that there's like a gray hair variant. Like some of the pirates are just old guys. Pirates are kind of girly pop.
girly pop. Being a pirate looks awesome. Like they have so much fruit. They have all these books to read. These beds look comfy. Like I want to be a pirate in the Eternal Sonata universe. Like the pirates have their own like rooms. Like they don't sleep in like a bunker or anything. They have like little rooms. Like it's like college or something. Kind of girly pop. Bye, Polka. She jumped. That's so cute. I love that. I guess Allegretto can also jump down from things, so it's cool that they let Polka do it too. What is girly pop? Okay. <laughs> it's just some term the gays made up, I think. Why? Girly pop is when the pop is girly. Oh. Boom. I won't cry. I'll let you up easy this time.
I'm confused. Girly Pop is supposed to be the Ara aesthetic of a female pop star. <laughs> like Ariana. Yeah, I kinda get that. These 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 uh All these pirates kinda have like a backup dancer vibe. Oh, okay. I'm supposed to go this way. Here we go. Looks like I got somewhere finally. The, the layout of this dungeon is, like, intentionally kind of repetitive and confusing. Also, I'm not sure, like, any pirate ship is actually shaped like this. This is really funny. It's just another way to say gay. It's just a new slur. And, you know, Phil's looking kind of girly pop. <laughs> Brandon, get, I don't know, he's looking kind of girly pop. A little suspicious. I know that there was a door right there, but I skipped it. Whoa, who are you? Captive Conga. Captive Conga, oh. Have you come to help me out? The pirates captured me when I was transporting my cargo. This is trash beat. Really? Cool, dark brooch. I forgot how important scarp how important scarp score pieces are. Darkness body, brooch from the bit born from the abyss that darkens the surroundings. That's really useful. It's like a It, like, causes permanent dark body when you put it on. What kind of Flying Dutchman-ass beat? <laughs> Polka and that guy just made the sickest beat. I love that in the internal Sonata universe, you're canonically, like, beatboxing with people. I'm going super off the rails. I have no idea where, I'm, where my character's headed. Or where I'm headed in, in this dungeon. I am not gonna lose this battle. Come on, I'll do my best. <laughs> <laughs> for me. Oh! <laughs> Let her cook. <laughs> I almost... <laughs> I 
I almost used some healing items, but then I was like, let her cook. And I knew, I knew Poco could destroy all those enemies on her own. Let Poco fucking cook. Gosh, earlier I made the best matcha ice blended drink ever at home. It was exactly like the one you would get at Coffee Bean, because I used the matcha powder that you buy at Coffee Bean. Um, but I used all the like exact measurements too, and gosh, it was like... The feeling of making a cafe treat at home, like perfectly, exactly the way it's supposed to be. There's no, there's no beating it. I used some of their matcha shizuoka powder and uh, almond milk and just some ice cubes and I like I blended them up real hard in the in the ninja bullet and it came out so good. Oh. Okay. I'll make you some matcha, come over. You're right, they are so girly pop. They have spotlights on the boat. For their little uh, pirate idol number that they're, they're gonna do. What if we're actually just interrupting their like rehearsal? They're dance pirates. Pirate musical. Whoa. Oh my god, I saw the Pirates of Penza Penzance. <laughs> Pirates of Pen Penzance uh, gays unite. <laughs> I saw Pirates of Penzance in middle school, and I don't know if it made me gay, but it definitely didn't help.
<laughs> no, that was a queen. Poke falling two stories. Alright, this boss, I remember, is tough as balls. I remember this boss giving me so much trouble. Let's try it. Poco falling 70 feet like it's nothing. She did that. <laughs> There's like two save file save points right next to each other. This game does that a lot. You can you can't act? I don't think that's true. You can probably do a really cute character. You know what? I'll, I'm, I'm putting you in my fursuit play that I'm I'm writing one day. And you're gonna like it. Oh, it's you lot. You've been having your way with my ship, have you? Look, B, it's a real pirate captain with an eye patch and hook and everything. <laughs> Just because he has an eye patch and a hook doesn't mean she's the captain. I thought pirate captains were, you know, supposed to be grisly old men with scraggly beards. Don't stereotype. Who says they have to be men? Plenty of women are pirate captains. Well, eye patches and hooks are stereotypes too, aren't they? These dates, pirates can pretty much wear whatever they want. That's not true. Eye patches and hooks are a pirate's trademarks. They'd be naked without them. They can't help it if it makes them look stupid. Okay, you two, stop bickering. Skirt me, dogs. No one ignores Captain Dulce. Yikes, the skipper's gonna blow her top again. That pirate's called Guitar. You like hooks, don't you? Well, then I'll give you a taste of this one. <laughs> oh, I'll hang you very slow. Just watch this. Cunty pirate? She's mother? Oh no. Don't do that. Things are heating up at the gig. Tail. 
Oh. Did you enjoy that? I won't cry. I'm sorry. Hugh Grave. Leave this place. It's also killed his hoe. God, Dolce goes behind everybody. How do you like it? Heels are nuts. Like, I hate that. Don't look down on me. Did you enjoy that? I'll kill all your Gosh. Oh no. Does it feel good? I'll kill all you. Par. I'll kill all you. Par. Ha. I won't cry. Shade coming. Shade coming. Good. Jesus. I told you this boss is hard. Frederick, do something. Oh gosh, okay. The presentation of this boss fight leads me to think that this is cut content. <laughs> Dolce has such a weird presence. I got my ass beat by her. But I'm saying Dolce has such a weird presence. I feel like she... She deserves a longer cutscene before that boss fight. And she's, like, way difficult. <laughs> so I, I kind of feel like they're trying to overcompensate for some sort of cut storyline with Dolce, because she just kind of shows up. And she has a voice actress, but she doesn't seem to have any long, like, cutscenes, you know? Like, why bother giving her a voice actress? Just for a battle, you know? I mean, like, if she has a voice actress, why not give her more things to say, you know? Am I even ready to go back in there? Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, so. Try it like that. Um, let 
Maybe I should go into the fight with full health at least. That might help. The sounds. Okay, Dolce, let's go. Because like bring it kind I think I fucked up. This is an intense boss fight, you're right. Did 
enjoy that? Clutch. Her attack pattern is absolutely brutal and random. Like her, her dodging, I mean her guarding thing is like so hard to anticipate. Get ready for a fat shade comet. That was a thick shade comet, but it didn't kill her. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. <laughs> owned. Player owned. God. Okay, I'm sweating after that fight. That fight, you can't put your controller down for like a second. Goodness. <laughs> her, her, her um, attack pattern like makes my heart race. It's so terrifying. I can do it. I just knew I'm getting taller. <laughs> Let us celebrate Ow! and be satisfied. Victory Howl. <laughs> Hell yeah. Pog. Oh, wow. Um, like what beat Pog. After all. Yes, so it would seem. Amazing. We've actually managed to find the pirate's treasure. You see, it's just like I told you. I knew we'd find it. But wait, is it really okay for us to take it? I mean, this is an awful lot of treasure. And Poka, and now is not the time. Taking so much. You're, Poka, you're literally terminally Come ill. Just take the money. Become a big shot if you say silly things like that. I think you're like probably the person in this room who needs the money no the most, Poka. I'm quite sure these items were all stolen in the first place, so I doubt anyone will complain. Yeah, exactly. With a huge pile of treasure like this in front of you, nobody'd be interested in any of this other junk. Play. Except her. Oh, poor Beat. I guess now you go back to being the short one again. Now then, I think it's time for us to be heading back. We should hurry and let Captain Crescendo know everything that's happened. <laughs> it's also so good. That's fine with me. But before we do that. As luck would have it, there just happens to be a full-length mirror right here. Beat, go stand in front of it for a minute, will ya? just remembered something I wish I hadn't. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Oh, that entire dungeon was a flashback. <laughs> uh, it's nothing. Never mind. All right, I'm going back inside now. You should come in soon too, okay? 
It's probably gonna start any minute now. They're just like, yeah, I remember that. Remember that? That was crazy. Now we're just back to the main story. <laughs> that was so fucking funny. I forgot it was a flashback. It's a flashback to something that we didn't know was happening. Like, it's just like, it's like a side flash. That was a Family Guy bit. <laughs> it's the same, like, method of storytelling as the Family Guy bits, yeah. <laughs> this is almost as bad as the time we got stuck on that pirate ship. And then just, like, an hour and a half of gameplay. This truly is Eternal Sonata Funniest Moments. <laughs> a strong supporter of Poland. Good job, Chopin.
my bitch look like Ronald Weasley. Abracadabra. <laughs> This history lesson is so fucking long. What's even going on? Where am I? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Eternal Sonata is the best game ever made. <laughs> Focus got no moves. Wow, I never knew Frederick was that good either. Huh? Good at what? At the piano, of course. Weren't you watching? Didn't you see him playing? The way he played was just so amazing. Way better than any piano player I've ever heard before. It was almost like he was a real professional pianist. What? Are you saying Frederick was playing that music? I was watching the people dancing the whole time. I didn't pay any attention to who was playing the music. <laughs> She's so dumb. Hey, you guys, we have to go see the captain. <laughs> <laughs> see the captain? You two need to stop calling him the captain. You should call him Prince Crescendo, for he is the Prince of Baroque. I'll bet the captain's going to have a face prepared to thank Frederick for playing the piano. It isn't fair if they get a head start. Oh, so Frederick has already gone to join Prince Crescendo? Yeah, and if we don't hurry up, they'll eat all the food. I wonder if they're going to feed us something really good. Come on, let's go. I don't want to miss out on that. That penis is professional. I suppose everyone must be heading home. The crowd has dwindled considerably. This fancy madam. There's so many characters in here. So many bitches in here. I feel like someone's watching me. Just made two chili dogs. That sounds bomb. I want some Wiener Schnitzel right now. Why are you staring at the wall? I stepped on her skirt again and embarrassed her. I'm so stupid. Idiot. Idiot. Sorry, lady. Um... Chopin's really busy right now on his deathbed.
She promised to dance with me again. I've died and gone to heaven. I don't know why it's so cute when characters are always like, I want to dance with... When X character is like, I want to dance with Y character. Oh, how I wish I could share a dance with Y character just one more time. I always think that's so cute. Skelly, can I have a chili dog? <laughs> I can't make it. I have tuberculosis tomorrow. Sorry, uh, the potion bottle and my, um, the potion bottle on screen and the the logo on my, uh, bar cart sweater on my PNG tuber were creating a tangent and it was driving me nuts. I fixed it. <gasps> Thank you for the chili dog! Please leave it, um, right on my desk. Like it's a, like it's a proof and we're making a magazine. Thank you. Where do I go? What second floor? Whoa, it's so much in here. There's so many ways to go. Where should I even... S I guess they said the second floor. I'll go up there. I like the way the knights are dressed. I want to dress like that. Baroque sure does love bubbles. They love having containers full of bubbles. I love playing as Polka. Polka's having a grand old time. Clave's just got murdered and we have no idea that it just happened. Meanwhile, Polka's like, haha, I'm in a castle. Whoa, this room's amazing. Clean? Uh, what? Can't believe uh, it's Pride season in Baroque. They have all these uh, rainbow banners up. Mr. Chopin, thank you for your stellar performance. Allow me to introduce my fiance. This is Serenade, and the little one with her is Minuet. Hello, I am very pleased to make your acquaintance. Hey, mm. what's going on here, Puppy. Sosa? They're just talking about boring stuff. I don't see food anywhere. Well, I just thought they were probably going to eat all the good stuff before we could get here. There is something I wanted to tell all of you, about the position Baroque is in right now. 
Count Waltz is using mineral powder to convert his population into soldiers who fear nothing, not even death. Serenade is so pretty. I love army. her, uh, her and angelic as as swag, swagger. Complete, it is almost certain that he Angel princess swagger. Baroque. Snow princess However, swagger. If Baroque were to preemptively challenge Forte, many innocent <coughs> civilians would surely get caught up in the resulting all-out war. The suffering of innocence is one of the greatest tragedies of war. It's appalling. So, what are you gonna do now? Well, I thought that the solution to the problem would be to find a way to assassinate Count Waltz to avoid any other casualties. Whoa! So I aided on Dantino. But you see, I am opposed to that plan. I believe assassination would be the equivalent of a declaration of loot. Oh, that would be such a cute one. And if we were to you should definitely that, you name your eternal sonotic OC loot. Is responsible? She has a point. I mean, like. History always repeats itself. Even if we managed to succeed in assassinating Count Waltz, another Count Waltz would appear. It looks like they have a bunch of like DVDs. Those are those are VHSs, girl. <laughs> if we throw all of what is she, she's, she has Die Hard on rebels. VHS. I believe it will be Baroque that is disgraced in the end. Serenade just shows, just showed us I her uh, royal VHS collection. And you're correct. Looking back on history, mankind does indeed repeat the same mistakes over and over again. Someone else with evil designs will surely appear to fill the void. Like, hmm, I guess if, if it's really I guess killing Count Waltz that, would be a good idea, but like, forget about it. it doesn't really like stop the mineral powder, the I guess. Of time Maybe it would, I don't know. Forget tragic and painful events. We let them go so that we're able to continue on with our lives. Like letters written in sand and then blown away by the wind. They're all forgotten. But there are some things we must never forget, no matter what. Tragic memories that we have to carve firmly in stone, so that the wind can never blow them away. I have a favor to ask. I understand that all of you are acquainted with Jazz? There is a message I would like you to pass on to him. It is this. Baroque can no longer provide you with any assistance. <laughs> no matter how much of a tyrant Count Waltz may be, there is no way we can be absolutely certain that he will ever attack us. If we were to make a preemptive strike against him, it would be a classic example of man's suspicious nature leading him to war. Serenade. I know in my heart that everything you've said is correct. That's why I wanted... What is it, Captain? It's nothing. We must achieve true peace. <laughs> These characters are so, like, complex. Appearance of it. But because of the current situation we just met them. <laughs> Forte, there is no way I can leave Baroque at the present time. Besides... If I were to be seen making contact with Andantino, that very thing alone could act as a trigger for war. Is there any way you could meet with Jazz and tell him for me that this struggle itself is the very thing that's leading the world into chaos? What do you mean exactly? <laughs> you want us to inform Andantino that Baroque can no longer provide support for its actions? I know that it's selfish of me to ask this of you. Yes, you're right. As you say, it is rather selfish of you. <laughs> Get him. Uh, Frederick? Up until now, you have been providing Andantino with support, is that correct? Denying them that support because your opinions have changed is rather irresponsible. Yeah. That may be true, but you must understand. We have come to realize that the actions we have taken up to this point have been mistaken. Regardless of the criticism that we may face later, should we not correct those mistakes? I imagine it won't be difficult for the two of you to shake off any criticism. 
However, have you stopped to consider what this will do to Andantino, who will be cut off without any warning? Of course, it wasn't our intention for the people of Andantino, or Forte, to suffer. And yet, as the Prince of Baroque, I have a duty to put the welfare of my people above all else in any decision. Mm. Then, Prince Crescendo, do you admit that you are merely using Andantino to push forward the interests of Baroque? It is rather convenient that your ties to a rebel band from a neighboring country could so easily be severed once the need arose. That is not true. Prince Crescendo would never do anything like that. That's enough. Jazz and I have known each other since the days of our youth. We may have different social positions, but he has always been someone I can Why does the armor in this game and like the clothing look too. just so beautiful? Like Really? I it's so unique. That. But then why is Jazz living in Forte instead of here? Are you familiar with Mount Rock? It's a mountain rich in ore located on the Forte border. Like every fabric and every like texture in the game is so like it. thanks to all cool the looking. Forte's been doing out there. Hagogo Forest is in big trouble. Jazz is originally from that area. Like in every cutscene, I'm just staring at each character. I'm just like, wow. Over that place. Their <laughs> like their their faces. <laughs> sorry, their faces could be more expressive, but their their cruel treatment of the mind. Everything about them just looks so beautiful. Like especially the hair. Every character's hair is so unique and cool. Like me, Jazz was always a passionate leader. Since we were young. Yeah, I cannot believe this game is from 2008 taking action so to be honest when i heard he had taken part in it's so crisp you know miners, well knowing him i can't say it came as much of a surprise at all so what happened in the revolt forte's forces showed the miners no mercy this game honestly looks better than nino kuni on the ps3 nino kuni on the ps3 over. is pretty after but death, it has like a lot of never returned to frame rate issues he founded Andantino to continue and the characters definitely don't look as detailed or as cool and that's why you agreed to um on the ps3 i mean the characters I shared his in nino kuni are really adorable younger, but they look really rough in the ps3 engine cost, like the but now uh, up close especially but like oliver just doesn't really support. look that cool <laughs> especially since but these characters like they're always zooming in right up to their faces and they just look like so Believe me, uh, pristine and no cool and jazz directly, well, like articulated. That bond of I was saying Nina Kuni because it also came out on the PS3 around the same time. Peaceful means for both our and it's like to live happily side by level side. five. Frederick, I believe Prince Crescendo. I think what he's trying to do makes a lot of sense. Yes. I think the environments in Nina Kuni are better than this game, but the characters. And the facial you animations and the hair in this game is like so iconic. Great, then we can get going. I bet Reto and the others are all looking for us anyway. If we can get back to Retardando somehow, I'm sure it's we not can too play late. Jazz and else. You can play all kinds of video games whenever then let's you have the time. If Allegretto and the others are all they just put out Nino Kuni on the on, on the, the Switch well. and the PS5, so hmm, I that game's really easy to play now. Way. She's hopeless without me around. Highly recommend Nino Kuni 1. It's one of the best games I've ever played. And I'm still playing it. I'm still doing the post game right now. <laughs> I was doing it live a few days ago. Thanks, Serenade. I will be careful. Oh, cool, I got a score piece. All these rooms are so detailed. I just need to point out how cool this room looks. Like, the way that they cut it, like, the, the camera angle is wild. I think I kind of subconsciously absorbed some of this game into my art style when I was working on like fantasy stuff for Champ's Journey, like I just love the way the houses in this game look.
Because they're not pre-drawn backgrounds like Final Fantasy games were, but they have that feel still. Come on, B. We're gonna leave you behind if you don't pick up the pace. <laughs> Watch out! Moving our big cartoon mirror. <laughs> You need to draw more fantasy I'm type sorry. stuff like this. I, didn't see you. I feel you. Are you all right, miss? Are you hurt? What the heck? What's with the gigantic mirror? Oh, this? It's one of Baroque's royal treasures passed down through the generations. What in the world is going on? What is all this commotion about? Oh, my. What have we here? What exactly were you planning on doing with this huge mirror? Oh, Princess Serenade! Uh, well, you see, um... This mirror was one of my grandfather's most precious possessions. It's called Lament. I requested that it be moved up to my chamber. I'm told my grandfather would often stand before this mirror to think, pondering what the future might hold for our country. In his day, Baroque was surrounded by much stronger nations. The responsibility of protecting Baroque must have been an overwhelming burden. Prince Crescendo. Come on, don't tell me you don't know what that thing is. Mirrors are shiny things that show your reflection. It's also fucking dies. Minuet fucking Silly dies. Dog. Nothing's gonna come out of there no matter how much you bark. Uh, oh. <gasps> no. <laughs> He's fucking dead. Minuet! She she got flattened. <laughs> this is awkward. Huh? What the? But she was... She disappeared. What could have happened? The blinding flash of light we saw. It can't be. Prince Crescendo, do you know something that could explain this? How could it be possible? Wait, so they're moving this mirror through the castle and just nobody has any, any idea what it does. <laughs> they're just like, better move this right past the king and queen's quarters. <laughs> that was a trap. Those guards are trying to trap us. <laughs> Maybe they're not magical enough. And they didn't they couldn't activate the magical bits of it. Lament, the royal mirror. So Lament the Royal Mirror is one of the dungeons added in this in the PS3 version. This was not in the Xbox 360 version at all. Oh, it's just Boca. I'm gonna go pretty soon, but I wanna explore a little bit of Lament. Maybe not the entire dungeon, you know? Dude, I like the music in this dungeon. Wait, it's only Poco. What am I gonna do? I'll do my best. I'm out of here. This isn't good. That's Kirby. 
Why am I being attacked by Kirby? This place is so cool. I'm so happy to be here. I remember seeing this on YouTube when I had the Xbox 360 version and being like, oh, I wish I could go there. Hmm. Are you gonna let me pass? Dude, the <laughs> that attack animation. Earth heal. This enemy is so unlike anything in the original game. Holy shit. In aesthetics and also just like attacks, like that is so out of the ordinary for this, for Eternal Sonata. Wow. Its windups are so slow and it has such like funny attacks. It's definitely a brand new kind of enemy. Wait, what did I get? Petite fatty. This is excruciating.
Oh no. Evil Kirby needs to leave my ass alone. I didn't do nothing to him. Evil balloon Kirby with bombs inside. Wait, this looks like Bayonetta 3. <laughs> How did we get to Bayonetta 3? This looks like Thule. This is Bayonetta 3, Kingdom Hearts. <clears throat> Lament First Eve, New Moon. Whoa. To think that even now he makes ready to invade my lands. It's Crescendo. If it should come to war between us. Where are we? It has the ability to hide those who stand before it. it and hide people? Yes. Okay, cool, thank god. Crescendo's a new party member. He was not in the Xbox version either. New dungeon and new party members. Look! Wait, this is literally that part from Strange Journey. I'm in Eridanus from Strange Journey right now. I'm just comparing every part of this dungeon to like another game. <laughs> Wait, this is actually Eridanus from Strange Journey, or Eridanus. I don't know how it's pronounced. I'm just gonna take a picture real quick. It's blowing my mind how much this looks like Erdanis.
I want to try like one battle with Baroque, and then I want to, and then I want to go to bed, or start getting ready for bed. Bring it on, balloon bitch! I have crescendo now. Crescendo has a fuck ton of health. Daddy. Is everyone all right? <gasps> He's kind of sexy. Sorry, I had like an I had like a uh, actual gasp because Crescendo is kind of zaddy. And a Zaddy, Eternal Sonata, Zaddy's coming into the, coming into play. I think him and Jazz should, um, settle their differences. Jazz is the other character with the big sword that we play as. Who's also kind of, uh, handsome. I was reading the Eternal Sonata manga, and, uh, they made Jazz really, like, a, kind of like a snarky bad boy, but also, like, an older character like in the game he's already described to be like one of the oldest party members he's like in his 30s i think but in the manga they really play up like how fatherly he kind of is and i and i like it he's more fatherly in the manga's portrayal maybe even like in the in the english dub he just kind of sounds like a dork to me but maybe he's supposed to be more fatherly you know He's like the leader of Andantino and stuff, so it makes sense. He's like the leader of like an underground, like a... Uh, um, revolutionary group. So he's kind of daddy. Um, but yeah. That's all the Eternal Sonata I'm gonna play today. Thank you so much for coming to the stream. I'm probably gonna stream again like on Saturday or something. That could be real fun. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night, Squidly Diddly. Good night, Skelly. Um, we'll pick it back up on Polka's Big Adventure later. <laughs> Yay, puppy, puppy pixels. Thank you for, uh, Enjoying my new uh, pup mask. I feel really cute in it. Alright, bye!